It can happen in an instant, and a person in cardiac arrest needs help right away. You have five minutes. You have five minutes from the person fainting till the AED restores a normal rhythm before you are likely to sustain brain damage. Dr. Naomi Cortez with Nationwide Children's Hospital says she sees all too often the consequences of people not knowing what to do. In the last year, I have had patients who have fainted at school. The AED was around the corner. Nobody used it and the child died. That's why she says it's critical to know three things before a cardiac arrest emergency. First, people need access to automated external defibrillators so they can be used. They need to also be able to get to them quickly. Cortez says within two minutes of any place in a building. Finally, people need to know how to use the AED, be comfortable getting it off the wall and putting it on the patient. She says the device will do the rest. The minute someone faints and they don't wake up, somebody should be calling 911, somebody should be doing CPR, and somebody should be getting that AED. A person may be in cardiac arrest if they collapse suddenly, pass out, aren't breathing or are gasping for air, don't respond to shouting or shaking, or if they don't have a pulse. Cortez says running drills every year can help get people prepared just in case. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither.